Hiya, welcome back everybody for part two of my Justice League display. Right, on this one it's going to be the lights. As you see, I've actually had to move a cabinet out of the way to fix, to uh, going to be wiring the lights itself. Now the ones I uh, normally go for are the ones from Ikea. But I managed to get these ones, uh, Energizer from B&M over here. They're much longer than the ones that Ikea do. Um, which is quite a good thing actually, because if you have a look, I've put, I've put them together. But, and I've put the tape behind them, the glue tape, so they can stick up there. So I've actually got the, the, the two connected together. Now, they're obviously a lot longer than what's on there. But uh, that's fine. That's exactly what I actually need. But there is one problem. They haven't actually got a connector uh, where the individual wires actually uh, go into a junction box. So I um, had a lot of thought about it. And they give you a lot of these um, connecting wires. And what I'm going to have to do is feed it through at the top and bottom. And then run the line across the thing uh, across the bottom now if you have a look I've actually put that sealant has grabbed, grabbed it very well and I'm gonna have these wires come across this way it's the only way I can do it and fix this one on with the lights so it all runs in one continuous thing um, so it would be um, done with remote control like the rest of the lights and that's how I want it set up um, but the only way I'm going to do it is run it through the actual side of the um, panels down here and across here. So um, anyway, that's just showing you how the sealant works and it's sealed it right over so no dust can get in. So, um, well, next shot... Um, when a lot of it's actually set up, if you just bear with me. Okay, it all looks a bit of a mess. As you see the cables along here, but that's all gonna be hidden with the, um, I'm gonna straighten them all up anyway, but it's all gonna be hidden with the backdrop plus the diorama. As you see, this is a bit tacky, which I've got to work on a bit more, but the lights are all in. Now, if I close this up, just to give you an experiment with the one remote control, and it all lights up. That's going to be the lighting for the Justice League display. And now the next thing I actually need will be the backdrop being made up so I'm just going to do the sizes for that and then give it to Dean Gladwell so he can do that for me I've already given the picture that I want so the remote control and it all works that's because I've got the lead look running through the back down to the back main supply onto my remote control systems which I have shown you in another video how that's actually done so there it goes all on and that will light it up beautifully. All I want to do now is taper down the uh, wires a little bit better so it uh, gives it more smarter look, but you're getting the rough idea. Okay then, thanks very much. Cheers. See you in the next uh, part three for the um, backdrop. Cheers.